Alrighty, welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft. I'm once again equipped with ponchos, joined by BK, Andrew Beckstrom, one of the uh, co-hosts uh, co of the now defunct podcast, Constructive Resources. <laughs> and uh, we've got a Vintage Cube pack here. What do we got? We got Library of Alexandria. Good card. True. Burden Catacombs, also good card. True. Nothing else even close, I don't think. Um, unless you really wanted to draft Mono Red or... Mono white. Even if you're drafting both those decks, library is probably better uh, in that deck. I think I'm going to take library. I don't know. Do you yeah. like? Are you at library above fetches right now? Yeah, I think so. I have. I, I when we did the top fifty thing last season, they were very close to each other. Okay. We're very quiet, hard to hear. Does do people agree with that? This was the same volume we had last time, and it didn't seem like it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take library. Audio is great. Okay. Let's just take library. Oh, it's open. Good news. Good news. It's open. It is open. We got a brain freeze past here. Uh, and it's a really good signal. So we, we are, are able it's to... a very good signal. <laughs> <laughs> We're able to, to just hop right in here. And, and what else would what else would we pick? I guess if you were a white weenie, you'd take it onto Vanguard. You'd take the guards. Yeah. The signal was brain freeze was opened by the person... To our right, and you and I are not the other. This is not. Are both here, so it can't have been picked. <laughs> yes. Uh, what else do we got here? We've got a mana leak. Yeah. And a volcanic island, and so at one point I would say volcanic island would be the pick over mana leak, but I think with triumphs now, I'm, I'm back on mana leak at this point. What do you? What do yeah. I do? I'm, I'm down with that. There's also regrowth and wish call talisman as as yeah. cards we might wheel or zern or. <laughs> Or Chain of Vapor. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, or Zern Orb, though. Yeah. Hey, what up, an agent thing? Welcome back. All right, let's let's take the Mana Leak. It's a good disruptive element. Ooh, this one's tough. Do you like Thoughtseize or do you like Turnabout? I like Thoughtseize a yeah, lot. Yeah, Thoughtseize is pretty good. Thoughtseize also lets you play the library game really nicely. Yep. Library turn one, turn two, land, library, Thoughtseize. Disrupt them while keeping up the card flow. Turnabout probably won't wheel. This pack is really bad. It's a very there's good. just no playables in this pack. But it's that's got okay. a stink well. That it does. Ooh, I do like Chrome Mox a lot. I also like Deluge. Not the biggest Vencer fan in decks like this. It's fine. You'd play it a lot of the time, but yeah, it's not critical. Is Miskelk a lot worse than Mana Leak? I'd rather just have Mana Leak. Yeah, you just want your counter spell to work more often than you want it to cycle it. True. I'm kind of interested in Chrome Mox here, I think. Yeah, it's pretty nice with library. Yeah, Chrome Mox. This, this has so far been pretty good library deck. Oh, it's open. It's open. Lion's Eye Diamond. I mean, the signals are just adding up. We've, we're like a detective. We're piling up the clues. Some tire, A pair of tireless trackers here. Can you, can you crack LED with library trigger on the stack? I guess you can. Yeah, you can. You can only activate this if you have seven cards. You'd, you'd really better hope that one card you're getting is good, though. <laughs> better be Woo! polluted delta seventh pick it's pretty light thieving skydiver is also nice so is charter course yeah but, but i mean come on polluted delta it's that true hits. whoa whoa brain freeze don't don't get in the sideboard there <laughs> or that's that's not where you're gonna end up don't worry uh i mean we've got a really good start to like a low curve storm deck i love when you start with all the cheap cards and this is true of any draft actually like you know whether you're drafting march of the machine or cube or whatever if you start with all cheap cards, you then have the freedom to take a couple expensive ones yeah. if you need them. If you start with all expensive cards, then you're in a lot of more trouble. Wow, this is an interesting yeah. pick. We've got Tinker with two cheap artifacts if we get a Bolus of Citadel. We've also got Badlands, which is perfect with Polluted Delta. I think I'm on Badlands here. Okay, I think I'm on Tinker, but that's legit. Okay. It's just, you have Chrome Rocks. All right, you get one like veto. You want to use it here? Yeah. All right. We're, BK's using his veto. We're gonna. It's so we're, high upside. We're gonna we're gonna take the tinker. Uh, Raugren Triumph wield. So did Miscalc though. Yeah. And I'm not taking Crucible. Yeah. I like the addition of Adri Agent of Treachery. I don't use it that often, but I like it being there. Yeah. All right. Let's just take Miscalc. We're we're yeah. a really good disruptive storm deck here. I mean, we've got Thoughtseize, Mana Leak, Miscalc. They all play really nicely at stopping your opponent from doing whatever it is they're trying to get up to we got a lot so cards we're looking for right now that we sometimes wouldn't be is we're very interested in bolus and citadel and sensei's divining top um ether flex reservoir would go up a little bit in our pick order um any artifact really <laughs> marshall says joe Mazzula uses his challenge in the first quarter <laughs> oh my gosh can i do a little mini nba rant 
Yeah, yeah, go for it. All right, so their competition committee is... is, is this is the 76ers? No, no, for the NBA. Oh. Is considering a rules proposal that if you... Uh, I'm going, take, I'm going to take Spire Bluff, I think. Sure, yeah. Over Manamorphos. That if you if your first challenge is successful in a game, you get a second one, which is awful because challenges in the NBA are really bad. They they don't have seem to have any ability to process them quickly. I so if you ever watch, it's just like, oh, it's really close. I can't tell, and then they spend two minutes just stopping the game on them. Yeah, that that sounds uh, that sounds like a, a be pretty annoying. What up, Chris? Sixty six months. It's kind of like that? slow playing Magic. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Uh, let me just fix. Yeah, I don't. You, you don't. You can't define it, but you know it when you see it. Uh, so regrowth didn't come back, but Wishclaw did. So did Zernorb. True. We have Tinker now. Does that change your opinion on Zernorb? Well, you can take away Wishclaw Talisman. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, I, I like Wishclaw here. Yeah. Wishclaw's fine. You can you can go get get whatever it is you need. If you win on the same turn as you Wishclaw, it's like a slow bad demonic tutor. Yeah. Are we Denver fans? Um, I mean, I I guess I, I root for for Denver overall, but I'm not like a huge Denver fan. I'm uh, not. I'll take Sphinx here. This is a Tinker target. I don't like Tinker for Sphinx very much, but out of the sideboard against Mono Red specifically, which is also one of your worst matchups, I, I do think... Uh, it's also really good against Green. Yeah, it can be good. Well, it can Just no one plays Green, though. That's true. I mean, when's the last time you played against, like, a mono green deck? Like, once out of every three drafts or something, maybe? It is a lot less common than it used to be. Yeah. Do you think Time Vault would be a good or bad cube inclusion? So, Ryan Spain, though, who's actually now curating the cube, running the cube, managing it from Daybreak, he had an interesting uh, proposal. And by proposal, I mean he can just do it if he wants, you know, but he was talking about it. Which is to have packages of cards that rotate in and out of the cube. So, stuff like the Power Nine and, like, cards for white weenie all are just always staying in the cube <coughs> but something like time vault plus voltaic key plus uh kiora's follower you know tezzeret maybe this package of six cards is in the cube for a season and then not in the next season yeah and i think that's not an unreasonable thing to do i mean it certainly doesn't sound like it would be bad so time vault was in the vintage cube uh i guess emory maybe or you have a decent amount of artifacts. You could just take Venser. Yeah. Emery, I just haven't found Emery to be very good. That's the problem. No, but you do have a decent start for it. Yeah. Um, it was in the cube like seven years ago. It was pretty boring. The way it would play out is there would be like cards like Ral Zarek and Cure's Follower in the cube. Um, it's pretty bad. I guess we're either first picking like Collective Brutality oh, or Spellseeker. Wow. I think I'm going to take Spellseeker. Sure. And what? And then you would just like. And there were a bunch of ways to tutor for Time Ball, and it was just kind of boring. Also, it, did, it either did nothing or won the game, and either like I don't know. It wasn't. There wasn't a lot of play to it, you know. No. Wow, these packs are just horrendous. Mana wise, well, we could take Battle Ball as a Tinker target. I like that one a little bit more than the Sphinx. Co- yeah. Coalition Relic supports it, but sacking Tinker to Coalition Relic is not great. It takes a while. I think Breach is interesting because there's a lot of different ways to combine with it, and you can play games of, with Breach that don't just end the game. Of course, Breach Brain Freeze does tend to end the game. Yeah. But uh, don't think Breeding Pool is a good pick here. No. It just, there's not that many green cards you ever want. So. Yeah. We know we're already not getting regrowth. Right. Fast Bond is like one of the few ones then. Yep. Fast and Flames, I think, is pretty bad. You could probably take that one out. I don't know. Teferi, Battlesphere, or Coalition Relic seem like the picks here. What do you think about it? Yeah. What do you think of Animate Dead? Uh, yeah, you could take Animate Dead, but I don't. it doesn't seem that good. Yeah. I'm kind of in for Teferi. I, I really like Teferi. Maybe we'll get it. It is very nice if you can support it. Yeah. The mana doesn't, isn't always there, but... There's the Aetherflux Reservoir. There's also yeah. an Abrade. I mean, we are still gearing up to be just like a pretty nice controlling deck. A Braid, Thoughtseize, Mana Leak, just kill a bunch of stuff and maybe not even play Brain Freeze. You know, maybe we're a Tinker deck instead. There's also Walking Ballista. I don't think I want to take Brawl here. No, there's a chance at a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of in for just a Braid. Sure. 
Treasure Cruise, I think, is not that good. I haven't been super impressed. Oh, wow. Flooded Strand and Echo of Eons. Echo's really good with Lion's Eye Diamond. It is very strong. Flooded Strand would help cast Teferi and presumably black and red cards at some point here. Yeah. But is there any chance Echo wheels? One, There's two, a chance. Three, There's no blue four. cards in the pack. Yeah, and this packs are a little thin on playables. What, 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 what do you like here? I would take Echo. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. We came to game. We, we certainly did. Well, we could take Sacred Foundry now. Yeah. That, that'll help us cast our spells. I don't think Teferi 5 is all that impressive. No, there's also Bob, which is good with Chrome Mox. Bob is good with Chrome Mox. Less good in a Tinker deck, though. True. So, do that. Oh, well, Mystical Tutor can go pick up Echo or Tinker. Yeah, Spar's Headquarters does a little bit for us, but, but not a lot. It turns this into a, it turns Delta into a white land. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, and there's also Brazen Borrower. I do like Brazen Borrower, yeah. but could could be could be better still as just Mystical Tutor. Probably just Duress now, right? Unless, yeah. Unless, I mean, there's Everflowing Chalice if we do end up... Yeah. Right. It's But I don't think you can justify it without having... Without having a little more action. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with Duress. Duress seems good. Oh, another close pick. What do you What do you like here? It's really tough. Tundra and Baleful Strix. I, I don't think our mana's going to get there on Teferi, but... Here, so I, I turned us up a little I bit. I would here. just take Baleful Strix, I think. Baleful Strix is very good with this plan. Yeah. And then maybe we'll pick up... Oh. Uh, Ooh, you get Hallowed Fountain for free. Hallowed Fountain for Because we're not really too concerned with Golos, and I don't think no. Dig Through Time's a big deal. I agree. All right, let's do Hallowed Fountain. Hey, we got the Breeding Pool back. Oh, we should just take the Battle Ball. Yeah. Though. Yeah, Battle Ball's good. Oh, also uh, Baleful Strix is is great with uh, Tinker, too, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Treasure Cruise. I, I still don't really know if Aetherflux Reservoir is doing anything for us. If you get Citadel, you will want to have it. True. And you will get Citadel if it's open in pack three. There is, yes, Displacer Kitten Teferi is a thing, but it's not actually that good with Chrome. Oh, no, I guess it still works with Chrome Mox. I would take the res. Yeah. I don't like the Sack Lands that much anyway. Bad. Oh, hey, what up, Mole? Memory Jar, Goblin Electromancer, Godless Shrine. So Godless Shrine would make it so basically we'd... Well, we're already actually doing really good on white sources. Let's just take Memory Jar. If we're actually the Tinker deck... Like, having a, a draw seven yeah. to Tinker 4 is good. Oh, Teferi's interesting, wow. too. Okay. Old beep beep. <laughs> Last pick, Metalworker. Hmm? Yeah, Brawl didn't come back. Yeah. Okay, well, it's not crazy to think that we might end up Metalworking here. We've got six artifacts now, and a bunch of them are chunky seven artifacts. Yeah. Not counting the Metalworker itself. Eh, I'm kind of just in for Time Twister now. Sure. Maybe Wheel Orzov Signet. It actually looks like it might might end up getting played here. Yeah. So currently we can't fetch the Sacred Foundry. Oh, Mox Ruby? Lotus Petal? No, some good cards. There's also Archon and Gristlebrand, but I think we just take Mox Ruby here. This looks great. Yeah. Okay. I, that makes me a little more inclined to play the red cards. Not Actually, I don't even have any red cards. I have red card. <laughs> oh, another... Like role player pick, we can take a preordain, which is a totally fine card. Bloodstained Mire is currently red, black, white. It's not blue mana yet. It's also watery grave, but that would just be a straight black blue yeah. pick. Also Grim Monolith. You're gonna wheel something out of this pack. Probably. I mean there's also time you play lock, almost, whisper. Yeah, I mean I'd play like eight cards out of this pack. Right. Um we're not cutting black. We have a Baleful Strix. That card's going to be amazing in this deck. Also, Thoughtseize is such a good card. I think Prudence. Prudence is just a great card. It's really great. And then maybe we'll wheel one of the mana artifacts or Watery Grave or Night Whisper. Probably not the Bloodstained. Yeah. Water. Yeah, it's really hard to go wrong with Prudence. There's a Xander's Lounge. Yeah. But also a Snapcaster. This looks like a solid Snapcaster deck. Thoughtseize, Duress, Prudence, a Braid, Mana Leak. Yeah. Oh, Snapcaster seems pretty good. Not really a paradoxical outcome deck. There's so many good cards like Citadel and Breach that we haven't, Breach seen. haven't seen. Yeah, yeah. And we're running out of time to see it. <laughs> we have four packs left after this. 
There's, oh, there's the Citadel. All right, well, we got to take that. I do love Force of Will and Trinket Mage, but if we don't take... It's just too risky to, to not take Citadel here, I think. Yeah. And then... So now there's a Tendrils. Did, we already have the Brain Freeze, though Tendrils specifically is quite good with uh, Citadel. Because it just buys you a bunch more life. There's also a Fetch. Yeah. I think there's Tendrils might come back. I think I would take a Fetch. And then it's going to be Arid Mesa of the Fetches, of course. Yeah. I don't think Tendrils is that likely to come back, but I don't think it's a huge loss if it doesn't. Um, been impressed with Sahili. Are you Sahiliing here, or do you just want Mishra's Bobble? Certainly can't leaning really, towards Bobble. Can't really justify any of the other stuff, I don't think. No. You're already going to have to cut a bunch of cards. Yeah. Well, I think that won't be that hard to do. But yeah. yeah. And so we're... We're we not did not get breach. breach. We're not getting. We're not breaching. No breach, boys. But we could just take an expressive iteration or an Azorius Signet. Signet doesn't actually sound too bad here. Yeah. And I don't think we're playing tons of red mana. Like we're right now, we have three red sources. Yeah, that makes. And we have preordain. Yeah, yeah, your only red card is a braid. Yeah, we we might not even play the red. Oh, just take another Signet here, probably. Is Third Path Iconoclast kind of gassy with Citadel? Because it just makes you, gives you 10, a yeah. 10 ball. You look like you need more ways to like actually... I, don't, I mean, I guess you could tinker for a fatty. You also have Brain Freeze. Well, I'm, when that doesn't work. Oh, if that didn't work. Mm -mm. Yeah. I guess you don't have any cards that pay you off for artifacts. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I don't think I like... I don't like Doretti yeah. either. Ooh, Rafine's Tower seems like it's a pretty nice pickup. Yeah, you're just an Esper deck. Okay, Time Warp is nice too. Time Warp makes the Citadel turn. Oh, we have Etherflux Reservoir. That's also a way to win. True. That I think we're fine on Yeah, directions. I wish we had Top. Yeah, we never saw Top, I don't think. No, we never saw it. Okay, so we get, need to cut some cards here. We can probably just cut this Abraid. Yeah. Because then we can cut Sacred Foundry... Uh, and Arid Mace is a blue, just a blue white duel, but we have a tri land, two tri lands basically. And two, yeah, our mana's pretty good. Wishclaw is looking mediocre here. My main concern with Wishclaw is they won't win in the same turn. Could this be an outcome deck? Four zero drops? Well, maybe. It's not I a think, winner or back, I don't so think you're going to have so enough matter. room, but maybe. <laughs> Goblin Welder is so unbelievably bad. <laughs> I wish it was good. We didn't wheel the tendrils. I didn't think we were going to, but I didn't think it was a big deal, especially with the Ether Flux. Cabal Ritual is not actually a zero, but I don't think we're no. going to play it here. Yeah, you don't have to play Wishclaw. Good. <laughs> All right, so cutting these lands, cutting the. Is, is Lion's Eye Diamond good? I guess with Echo of Beyonds it probably is. Yeah. We can cut one of the big things. Probably cut the Sphinx. Oh, Could, interesting. I, I think I like Battle Ball more. I mean, the argument for Sphinx is that if your Bolas is settling, Citadeling... The life game is better. Yeah. Yeah. Could also cut Jar. I'm just not a big Jar fan. Yeah. And also we could probably cut Metal Worker, right? Yeah. We're going to end up with one, two, let's see, three, four, nine artifacts, but only like two of them are, or ten artifacts, but only two of them are really good in at getting cast. So it, this would be 15 land plus the two moxes, which I think is fine. And then Why is Battle Ball better in this deck than Sphinx? When you play it and they have a removal spell, it seems like it seems like the, the Battle Ball does more. Okay. But I don't know. I mean, we could try it. We'll I like it. We'll, we'll try Sphinx because that way either the Sphinx works and we win, or it would be it would be worse as, as Sphinx and better as, as Battle Sphere. And then let's just say someone someone will make hay from that. Uh, yeah, I think when we Citadel, assuming we have enough life to do some things, we can eventually get a Reservoir out or Brain Freeze them or Time Twister and just start like kind of going off. I actually yeah. think the, the Reservoir is really good in this deck. Yeah, it is. All right, this looks this looks great, uh, and our mana I think is actually going to be really good. Yeah, you, you're pretty good. I mean, you're not you have very little of uh, white and black, so 
we have three tri lands and then a and then a, a mox. Oh, and then you have two signets. Yeah, yeah. So basically, perfect mana. You have to play. Well, you don't have to play a planes. And no, you probably I mean, shouldn't. I, th- I don't think I should. Right? I only have no. one card. <laughs> well, it, you're gonna be hard up for every black source you can get. Yeah, this leaves me with ten blue plus chromox and a signet, and seven black plus signet and chromox. Yeah, that should be fine. It's fine. It's hey, what up, MK two M O? One year, welcome back. All right. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, okay. This this deck's got an actual decent shot of controlling the game with. Duress, Thoughtseize, Mana Leak, Miscalc, Snapcaster, Venser, Baleful Strix, Teferi. Like, that's not an embarrassing set of cards to like stop no, your opponent. No, no, no. So against Control, I actually think we're really well set up. All these cheap counters and discard. Yeah. And against uh, Aggro, we're on the Sphinx plan. Yeah. yeah. No, that actually sounds pretty good. It's not the best Time Twister Echo deck I've ever seen. But it's not the worst of those either. No, I mean, you have two, you have two mocks. Yeah, I and mean, LED is nice. Like you yeah, just... LED Echo's great. And even like Mishra's Bobble Time Twister is nice. You kind yeah, of yeah. off a card. Land, Bobble, LED Echo is like kind of a nice little start. It's yeah. like an Ancestral if you're on the play. Would I consider this a half-baked Storm list? No, this is a good Storm list. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Also, um, if we can just generate some mana and if we play a longer game... You, and you get to like six mana, and you play like go like two zeros, brain freeze, snapcaster, brain freeze. I mean, you what you do is you technically you go snapcaster, brain freeze on the stack. That's three storm, and then you're getting, and then you're you're almost there if you've got like if they got like twenty cards in their deck. Yeah, we've got uh, mystical tutor to find tinker, spell seeker to find mystical tutor, bunch of ways to find brain freeze. Mystical tutor is also great with Bolus's citadel. You can. You know, just put whatever spell on top and cast it with the Citadel right away. It's pretty nice. Yeah. So, let's see. I have high hopes for this. All right. Yeah, you should keep on the play with Library's great. Yeah. That's kind fun. of dampens some of the enthusiasm about Time Twister. But. Sure, but if th- this hand gets really good if I draw one of the Moxes. <laughs> hey, what up, <laughs> Salsa Shark? <laughs> yeah, the problem, Chris, is that Goblin Welder is really bad. I, it's difficult to make everything happen. You need... A 1-1 one, one to survive, you need to have an artifact in play, and you need to have a good artifact in the yard. And it's just like, that's a lot of moving pieces, and the downside is you have a 1-1 one, one that does nothing. And you probably put cards in your deck that aren't that good. That too, yeah. Oh, I love seeing a Rafine's Tower. Less a Mox. But against li- when I'm librarying, seeing Rafine's Tower is kind of the land I want to see. Okay, let's draw... Oh, okay. Interesting. If I draw a Mox, I have I could potentially go Island Tutor for Tinker, but otherwise, no. I'm just gonna play Rafine's Tower. I think. Yeah. I don't. I don't really see a scenario where I Mystical Tutor for anything here. Oh, y- yeah. You might want to just Mystical Tutor for Thoughtseize. No, uh, just to slow them down. Yeah, I think. What do you think? No, you're off it. No. Yeah. Oh, well, you could duress them. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it seems better just to duress them, honestly. Um, I guess I should play my land first. Yeah, in case they have miscalculation or, no, days. Yeah, it honestly doesn't matter that much, but... Boom, boom, Kusayan with the 10 months. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. We uh, probably wanted to play Basic Swamp. You just draw Thoughtseize. You probably uh, play it. That's true. I wanted to leave up Tutor, but I guess I could have just done the well, other way. Yeah. yeah, do it the other way. <laughs> oh, Dang. does he? Also, all creatures. This is this is this is uh, quite a hand. Okay. Revoker cannot name Library of Alexandria. No, cannot. They're really far from doing anything. I guess they could Tide Hollow. Yeah, I mean maybe. they're uh, okay. Okay, they drew the the Sculler. Or the land for Well, Scholar. it's good you didn't get on the six cards in hand. Yeah. 
they're still really far. Like they have th- an eight drop, an eight drop, and a six drop, and four lands in hand. Yeah, I, 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 would, like, I would not cast Eureka right now. <sighs> they took the Mystical Tutor, sure, and they were going to revoke her. What are they going to revoke her? The house, baby. <sighs> yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rain? Good afternoon. Yep, they revokered the house. <laughs> this is. You know, I'm just going to lose it when they drop Tularean Academy next turn. Oh, wow, that would be impressive. Mm, well, can't duress them. <laughs> no. We could do some spell seeking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this cuts their clock in half. <laughs> True. So, what are we even spell seeking for? We could get a counter spell. They're presumably not casting yeah, anything next so. turn. I don't want a thought seize. I think just getting the mana leak will be good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't think getting preordained makes sense. Also, getting yeah, you know, yeah, this is great because getting mana leak yeah. with Snapcaster, we they have a one turn window to play something. Otherwise, we lock out their. Oh, neck. I thought you were gonna say getting mana leak is gassy out of our deck because we have Bolas as Citadel. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. You should upkeep your 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 library. Why? Draw step tap your library. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think of that. I think they're probably going to up. It, it's a good chance they would see that angle, but. Yeah. Well, uh, they did draw a good four drop the turn before they were never going to get to play another spell. But it's just not that big of a deal. I guess I should just play an untapped land. There's no reason to yeah. play a tapped land. Also, I don't get even Get a really... black source. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I should play the blue source. So it's harder for them to tap down me okay. off manually. Yeah, yeah, no, that's sure. Good point. Arid Mesa doesn't do anything here. So let's just pass. Is it dead? Yeah. We nice. just have these two lands to get, which I think is okay. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't really make me want a planes. Okay. Okay. Well, if they attack with Scholar, I think you should ambush Viper it. Because if they tap it down, I then get to play Citadel. Yeah. No. I can't imagine they're going to be doing too much more attacking with Skullers, given they have an opposition. They did last turn. That they did. But they also know my hand from Skuller. At least they do, they know Citadel and Time Twister. And they know Manly because I tutored for it. Oh. Okay. Well, that I'm really happy about. Mm-hmm. Ambush Viper... Hey, what's up, Druin? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, we, the, the first Raid Cup stream was, it was a good one. This one this one's shaping up nicely, too. Uh, can I mystical for anything that I want to draw pre-Citadel? Mm. Can't really think of much. No. If I draw Chrome Mox, too, that way I can, I'll can i then be able to mystical for a Time Warp if I want or something. <laughs> hey, what's up, Samuel? That's true. Y- yeah, we would be hyped for Burger Night if it was happening. This is where I'd put my yeah. burger knight if I had one. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, this is opening the door for them to resolve a worm coil engine if they play a land. I don't know if you realize that. I did. Remember, your your thing's been revoked. Wow, that's a good start. That is <laughs> that is a really good start. Okay, so another trick. You gotta hold down control right. when you play Baleful Strix in case your top card's an instant. It was not. Oh, look at rebate. Boom. And I have already played a land, so we are unfortunately done here. I'm going to play the Ruby, because I think at Storm Count 4 it's worth playing it. I don't know, maybe I play it next turn. It doesn't matter, really. No, it's not going to matter. And I guess... Guess we can attack. Yeah, it's really very awesome. hard for our deck to get there incrementally because our two ways of winning the game or are brain freeze and Sphinx of the Steel Wind. <laughs> yeah, the only other one is Bolas and Citadel. But hey, welcome back, Killslaw. Watch out! Next game we won't be able to win because they'll revoke our Aether Lux Reservoir. That is true. This doesn't care about chip damage too much. When you're when you're when you're putting 50, a fifty ball on the stack, <laughs> it's an amount of damage that is more relevant in the commander format. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
They are going to get to slam a worm coil. And that they did. Slam. Mm. If you want to slam. Let's see. Let's see. I'm even going to get to library here if I want to. Right. <laughs> I mean, they should really tap your library. They should really just go to the next game, I think. Unless, uh, they, they get to see more cards, I suppose. I, I'm not going to talk about the commander format. I don't want to get fined. <laughs> just here so I don't get fined. That's a sports reference. Oh, let's get this opposition out of here. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. It's an annoying card. And I will not acknowledge it. I don't understand it, and I will not acknowledge it. Or not respond to it. I have uh, high hopes for this game, I wouldn't imagine, but they're still battling. <laughs> they're still in it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What's up, Teferi? Teferi's another way to help us get through the top of our deck. So is it better to brain freeze to see their deck? I think I'm just going to do that now, because I, I don't think there's a way I can lose this game. I like it. And they might not concede to a non-lethal brain freeze. No, they probably will. I'm just kind of curious if they have... Uh, Eldrazi or anything like that. Yeah, they've got so many other expensive cards. Why? What's, why not a few more? Yeah, I mean, I, I assume they have a Tinker in their deck. It's kind of annoying for Sundering Titan that we have the same. Uh, or is it Saga, Karn, Metalworker, Soul Ring? That's a good card. Toxic Deluge, Everflowing Chalice, Winter Orb. That's an annoying card too. We're very close to just. It does show in the brain freeze. That doesn't matter, though. No. Okay. Mm, I don't really want to echo of Eons. I assume you're just in game actions mode. Yeah, I'm going to ju just kill them with the, the, the Citadel, or the, the re Reservoir is going to get them in a second here. Yeah. Yeah, Bob in their deck is a lot, yes. <laughs> Oh, did they really? Yeah, they have a Dark Confidant in there. I took 10 the other day from Dark Confidant, Greater Gargadon. Deez. That was a card, that was a combination people played, like, actually in Standard. Uh, nice. Is it worth siding in a Braid? It's really good against their deck. Yeah. yeah it's could, not that costly for you to have red mana. Yeah, it's just put in those over Island and... That gets you, like, what, like... Four red sources, I think. One, two, three... I have Ruby also. Four. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you want to cut though? Uh, Our deck's kind of perfect. Is it crazy to cut Duress? They have Tinker. On the draw. What was. It's not going to get Soul Ring. They yeah, have so many creatures in their deck. You could cut Duress, I guess. Go but Goblin Welder, the, the anti big Tinker Goblin Welder. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a Teferi. Sphinx of the Steel Wind does not sound great, but it might be you better. You do want to have, have at least, if you're going to do that, you should bring in Jar. Yeah. You should not have nothing Yeah. besides it at all. Yeah, I agree. Maybe to, maybe big Teferi if we go to game three. All right. I mean, I need to draw a blue, but this hand's really good if I do. Yeah, okay. you can Thought Season and then Time Trust turn. The classic. Oh, Turtle Metalworker? Oh my. Okay, well, this hand's gonna be God. good. Oh, well. That's fine. Hey, what up, Ramsal? 55 months, welcome back. I mean, the turn one metal worker, or sorry, turn one winter orb is not like the scariest thing in the world. Yeah. They even cracked the you bubble also should, Yeah, you should not do that. Okay. It would be gas, of course, if Portal was the card they drew. Yeah, that's what I'm really hoping it is. Okay, okay. Mana Leak is uh, pretty good against... Ooh, that's a good one. Mana Leak is pretty good against Misha's Workshop. Yeah, should they errata to be like power... Oh, fuck. The power just flickered. Yeah. Oh, I can go to Twitch chat. Hmm. Are we still up? Did we lose connection? Wait, is that... That's crazy. Are you still here, chat? No, I don't think so. We can't be. 
I think your Wi-Fi is down. Yeah. All right. I think we're back. We had a little brief interruption. There's actually a storm going on here. Um, no, I don't think so. Should I? No. Should maybe cycle miscalc. I was kind of thinking of doing that. Yeah, the power just flicked on and off, um, which set us back a bit because it knocked the Wi-Fi network off for a moment. But we're good now. Wind orb is being a little annoying here. It could use a mox pretty badly. Let's just play that. Def Wind orb definitely. It's not shuts worth it to play that. Orzov saying that. Uh, well, I can still tinker next turn. Okay. That's it, true. With Winter about it, it doesn't really save mana. No, you're that. right. It doesn't save mana. Oh, they put a tap land? I like it. Yeah, I guess if you were to draw, like, Chromox, it would be a lot better to have not played Orzov Signet. Hmm. Siggy Siggy. Do I play around Days here? Oh. You could. It's not crazy. They have five mana going on six. Karn is... The one thing that's a little annoying is you don't have blue, but I guess Time Warp is like already in your hand anyway. For Mystical. Uh, yeah. You could also draw Bolas as Citadel. That's, the, that's probably the worst, but... Uh, if you do want to prevent that, you can Mystical. No, I don't think so, because that doesn't play around days. Uh, true. Hmm? No punish there. Wow. Big punish. Well. Do you have a Kel spell? I have an Abraid. I can Mystical for Abraid. <laughs> yeah. We're back in the realm of not playing around days, but that's okay. What should they errata? They could errata Mishra's Workshop to work like uh, Power Stones. Errata story? I don't understand. I, I just brought up right before we went down that Mishra's Workshop. Like, Power Stones can pay for things like Mana Leaks. Oh, I see. And Miscalcs. But Mishra's Workshop can't. I'm going to kill it now because my, my life total does matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Mishra's Workshop activating Urza's of Saga. Is, is that a flavor fail? <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Oh, they're, they're just getting me every turn. They're going to name Orzov Signet? Yeah. Playing around days led, led us down a I disastrous know. path. It did feel like it was kind of safe because I, I could mana leak if they played something that turn. Yeah. But it just uh, didn't work out. All right, Sponzi. Wasn't it better to kill Winter Orb? No. I don't think so. Well, we... I need, need to draw a land at some point here. Yeah, you can go to Denver Central Games. Oh, that's actually a really good land to draw. Wait. Oh, I have a mana leak. I gotta play it. No, we're not playing around. We are playing around days? Uh, I mean... At this point, I'm not going to. I, I don't think I can afford to when I'm getting attacked for three a turn. When yeah. I, when I was getting oh, right. Or those thing does revoke it. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. When I, when I was getting hit for one a turn, I was... It would be blue. very nice if there was like an animation... If they just blue texted Orzov Signet. Like can't tap or something. Can't. Yeah. Abilities can't be activated. I would like to draw a land here, so I do... I, I will play a land to play around days. That I will do. If I draw one. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Okay, I didn't have it, I guess. Land. Bobble. Hmm. Oh, they're going to brazen borrow me? Ugh. Okay. That's pretty gross. Uh, I guess I don't need to do this now, but I will. Well, I played around one card, and then they had, like, a bunch more cards that all kind of punished me. So that was not... Yeah. 
And we had seen their hand, too. Yes, that is, that is the other thing. <laughs> what, if we were just doing this all in the dark, it would be one thing. Well, that's the other thing is, like, them having any one of those cards wouldn't have been so bad, but they had three cards in a row to, to really punish us. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I can draw here that would really get me out of it. Yeah, I wish we had tapped a black land. Let's see. Is Time Twister doing anything? It really can't. Well, it can because it puts Citadel back in your deck for Tinker. Now, yeah. obviously, it gasses them up with a ton of mana. They're drawing a Lodestone Golem next turn? Uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? I, I, I don't think that it's really likely that I, that I win here, but... Now with the winner, orb, the winner orb's actually getting me way too good. No, I'm just, I'm just done here. Okay. All right. Um, still don't really want duress. They have so many creatures. Do I want to fairy hero of Dominaria? <sighs> yeah, probably. It's also possible I just don't want brain freeze. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Then I can put in Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Don't want a Plains. No, I probably don't need a Plains. I even have a Sacred Foundry in there. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. Hopefully they don't lead on some crazy Soul Ring opener again. Welder is really good against Wonder Orb. Your thoughts? It is. The, the challenge is getting an artifact in their graveyard, which I'm not always going to be able to do. I don't have a lot of removal. It's true. Okay, so turn turn to Azorius Signet or leave out Mana Leak, depending on kind of what they do on turn one, into a Teferi. I guess if I don't draw a land... Okay, okay. Their deck is nice. They have some fast mana. Okay, they didn't have a Soul Ring. And they know that I drew... <laughs> Uh, I think I'm just going to play Azorius Signet. Yeah. If you had a land... Oh, they're going to daze me? Sure. If I don't draw lands here, it's going to be pretty annoying. Yeah. If I... Uh, yeah, if I draw any land cast Teferi, which is nice. Okay. I think I still just get Island. Yeah, I have a lot of blue sources here. I'm just going to play Teferi. Yeah. They just have all permanents in their deck. There's not much that a Teferi can't bounce. Obviously, or, oh, is this the classic? They have Brazen Borrower, and now they're going to have to like play it in response. I'm going to bounce it. <laughs> I'm just plussing this. And then now, there's not that much they can play on their turn that Teferi doesn't just send right back to hand. Uh, it will struggle to send Phyrexian Revoker back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy long weekend, folks. Oh, it is Memorial Day weekend. That it is. Mana leak down. They don't have Revoker to go with it, though. Or do they? I like when you jinx yourself. Oh, they did have the Brazen Borrower. That's funny. Um, any preordains? Yeah, I think you gotta hit land yeah. drops. Yeah. Huh. What are your thoughts on Time Twister here? I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't either, actually. I'm going to play Teferi. And you're not going to take down. I was just going to plus one it. I yeah. Think. Well, if I plus one and they attack it... No, why, why don't I take it down? Why don't I, like, what's Because the... next turn... Because you take it up to five, it goes to three. You bounce something. And it dies. And, and then you get to play Time Twister... And it makes life harder for their brazen. Well, brazen bar, it doesn't really matter. But All right, yeah. All right. Well, we'll try your play. I guess I know I'm drawing time twister off it. I also have, if I want, the option of just not taking it down next turn. Yes. They get a. Well, what might happen is you might, if you draw a land, you'll go. T uh, you'll go t time warp. Well, I know I'm not drawing a land unless I. Well, if you yeah. take it down. Yeah. They didn't play anything. Okay, now I don't... You could snap preordain. Yeah, now. now I'm just going to do that, I think. Yeah. 
That's crazy. They just time walked themselves. Unless they have Shark Typhoon. Which we haven't seen so far. Yeah. We did see a lot of their deck in game one. Yes. Preordain. Do I just keep them both on top? Uh, the six land that doesn't cast it at all doesn't sound great. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm not bouncing Skuller this turn to keep Mana Leak up, so let's just do this. And just plus one. And then... They, they do potentially have a kill Snapcaster attack to Fairy Lion if they have a removal spell. Yeah, they didn't have Shark Typhoon. Hey, Jorbs. Hey, what up, Jorbs? You need a soul draft for me in XCOM, but it died to a drone? Yeah, that's fair. That's a, a heroic end, no doubt. They mm. finally learned their lesson. Yeah. Okay. One one upside to drawing a land is it makes the time warp better, but I guess now I can time warp. Okay, here's a weird play. Plus one to fairy land pass. You like it? Yeah, yeah. You like it? Okay, I knew you'd like it. It's going to get to fairy hit down to one, but what we're going to get to do is end of turn time warp and then untap and cast time twister with uh, a lot of a lot of value on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, getting to have all, all of your mana after your Time Twister is pretty sick. Yeah, and with the Teferi in play, so you know they're not casting anything after the Time Twister. Oh, they didn't even have anything here? Yeah, this looks pretty good. Oh, and I have a library, too. You do have a library. Okay. Ooh, end step Time Twister? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> that I, I, I like it. Really nice if you draw land. Yeah, that would have been really unlucky, honestly, that I didn't. Uh should I attack with this thing? Yeah. Yeah. You want it you want it in your in your deck. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Teferi Teferi does some good stuff. Not not often that you see the end step time twister. No. <sighs> Oh, there's a time, time stretch. <laughs> yes, yes. Now we're now now we're cruising to ferry to ferry. <laughs> yep. Um, I have a lot of cards in hand. What do I want to do with uh, this turn? I guess Library of Alexandria. I have three, six, seven, nine mana. I could play Ether Flux and Time Warp this turn. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. We might be taking another time warp turn with this uh, Snapcaster soon. Right. I don't think they're going to block. You might want to make your attack. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't really know that attacking does much, but... Yeah, value. Uh, I'm not going to play the bobble yet. Hold on. Do you, you, do you have an, your own unstep stop set? Yeah. Oh. Okay, you didn't. <laughs> just so we're just clear. things that aren't true. <laughs> just so we're clear, yes. <laughs> this has been a lot of end step casting. I like expensive. that you lied in that spot when when, <laughs> every, when your mouse is literally broadcasted to lots of people. <laughs> well, see, the thing is. <laughs> hey, what up, Royal L? <laughs> All right, and now. Ooh. I could vince her. Sna- oh, one mana short, even with the big Teferi. Because that costs, what, 11 mana? Yeah. I guess I don't really want to use the time round. Yeah, I mean, I think you could just, like, pass or whatever. And just, like, you can also spell seeker for another counter spell. Mm, yeah. Let's see. Well, let's do this. I could look at their top card. I have seven cards. I guess I could actually look at my top card. Though... Because hmm. they will get to attack and kill the Teferi, though. You have a Braid. Yeah, that's true. I can Braid the Brazen Bar. Braid the Brazen Bar, have up Venser. I guess I'm going to untap two lands, so I could also have up a Counterspell. Yeah, that's probably... I'm sure you can find a way to draw multiple cards of Library with Big Teferi. 
Yeah, I don't know if I want to. Because uh, if I use a Braid and Venser and Spellseeker, I'm not going to have enough mana to also play a Counterspell. There's a mana leak under the Skuller right now. Or one short of uh, Ulting Teferi, unfortunately. Well, next turn, if you time warp... You, we can go straight to it. Yeah. Uh, in that case, can I... Can I play? I guess I can play Spellseeker because I'll use a Braid and have Venser. Yeah. So, in that case, I could just Library first. I, I guess you could get Thoughtseize. Is Thoughtseize better? You can only get Miscalc. Oh, if I go Spellseeker, Thoughtseize, Land, Venser, a Braid. Yeah, I can do all of that. Okay. All right, we're just not Librarying then. That's fine. Mm hmm. Seek some spells. Thought seize. Well, I could thought seize on their draw step. True. That's probably better. Well, <laughs> well let's leave. The, well, you could do yourself. Yeah, because I, I, well, I do, I do wait, have a, is there, Oh, you have Hallowed Fountain. I have Hallowed Fountain, yeah. So let's crack this for Hallowed Fountain. Untapped. And then pass the turn. Yeah, I'm not going to attack now, I don't think. Okay. And then pass. <laughs> if only Hello Fountain Retundra, yes. <laughs> Draw step, thought sees you. How does this deck win? There's so many ways. What? <laughs> Including Aetherflux Reservoir. You guys were so unreal last night. It was great. Okay. What is their hand? Days Counterspell, Tinker, Teshar, Winter Orb. Oh, Sundering Titans in hand. That's pretty nice. Yeah. What else did we see? I mean, I could just take the Tinker on the end of turn, Venser the Winter Orb. Yeah, that sounds good. There's just no reason to. And then I'm definitely killing the big brazen bar because they have Daisy and Counterspell. Yeah. Worm Quail. Not worried about that one. Worm Quail, we're less worried about. Yeah. This little Teferi has just really ruled the day here. Yeah, end of turn, and then now. So they're going to like hard cast Sundering Titan here? Maybe. They know about miscalculation in my deck, so they might be scared of that. But they also probably think that Venser is not enough to win them the game here, which I don't think... Or, sorry, Winter Orb is not enough to win them the game here. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, you get to follow up the Teferi Ultimate with Echo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho! How will we win the game? I think we've got a I think we've got a path to victory here. Yeah, Andre, that last cube video that went. Well, if you took really down good. to ferry, how are you going to do this? They have counterspell in their hand. Oh, my ferry goes away, huh? Ah, uh, dang! I guess we're going to have to find other ways to win. Well, I guess you start by plussing the big Teferi. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I guess I can't draw that right away without using this, and then they'll have Counterspell up. I could also Echo of Eons, and if I hit Time Warp, I'll still get to play it. Because <laughs> I, can, I can Mystical Tutor, but it's not actually... Doing much. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's let go of Eons. How could that go wrong? Well, just, why don't you just, like, pass? Oh. Uh, what happens if you just pass? They play Sundering Titan. It's not that big of a deal. They kill one, two, three, four lands. You could play Azorius Signet. But and then you... they attack this Teferi, right? To make it so I can't ult anymore. I mean, you could Mystical Tutor for Citadel. Oh, I should end, I could end step wheel if they don't play Winter Orb. Because they can't play Winter Orb and Titan unless they draw Misha's Workshop. I just, 
Echo of Eons in them. They have a lot of disruption. Yeah, let's just... That's plus one. Let's play, let's play an Azorius Signet. Oh, I guess I could have tapped Rafine. You should tap. probably play an untap land. I already played a land, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. All right. And... The lying. <laughs> that wasn't... <laughs> no, I know. Come on. Okay. Yes, we, we can we can go Mystical Tutor in response Echo of Eons. Yeah. Why not bounce Strickless with this with Teferi minus? Uh, I mean... Doesn't seem like a good play. Seems like we're like letting them make... Uh, huh? Okay. Why is that a play? They can put a Raisin Borrower into play by playing a Historic spell. I suppose... Okay. Do this. So here comes Winter Orb. Yeah, I guess they're going to do some Teferi attackings here. But now, if they don't attack the big Teferi. They didn't attack the oh, Teferi? Oh, whoa! Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just not going to do anything. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't seem ideal for them. Emblem. Oh, we even drew an LED. <laughs> oh, dang, that was it. <laughs> oh, we never got to see the seven Teferi triggers going on this deck. All right. Round two. Ooh. Look at this. What do you think? We could go library Echo Go. <laughs> Yeah, I'd do that. Plus, by doing this, it makes it more likely that they, they get wheeled into a into a terrible hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's happened. <laughs> no land, turn one. <laughs> I've had this happen a lot where I would want to imprint Baleful Strix on Chromox. Yeah, I cannot imprint either of those cards, unfortunately. Turn one Library Lotus Time Twister is pretty nice. I kind of Gemstone Caverns, except it, well, kind of. I mean, I still just played my land for the turn. But m more, I just got a free library. I started with a ley line of library and seven cards in hand. Yeah. It's not often you get to activate library on the play. Grief, right. What are they going to take here? It's a good question. Mana leak, maybe. And then they pitched a Baleful Strix. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not going to take Citadel and probably not going to take Chrome Mox. Yes, the cost was I did I do now not have a deck with Echo in it. Yeah, yes, they get to pitch Strix to Grief, but we can't put it on Chrome Mox. It says non-artifact. So, yeah, they took me out. Mm -hmm. And do they have a reanimate? That'd be sick if they did. I think it's a possibility we would time twist them into a, into a nut seven. Yeah. If they just have like a duress or a thoughtsies, that's not a big deal because I still have library going. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho. Cabal therapy. Got him. Almost takes us off library. Yeah, but when you almost take someone off library, it's really not the same as taking someone off library. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. What do they name? Azorius Signet? Sure. Over Baleful Strix. I guess they don't want to ramp me. I mean, it's not really ramp when you've already drawn like four non-black sources. True. True enough. Oh, they didn't have the him to really to really put the dagger in. All right. Seven. We're just gonna play Orzov Signet here. Yeah, sounds great. Oh, they're 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 getting punished for not uh, taking the Citadel. I could actually cast it next turn. <laughs> I drew a black Signet and two swamps. I probably won't cast Citadel into open blue mana, but if they tap out, I certainly will. 
oh, I guess they can they can flash Cavalter be back on Citadel. Actually, they kind of have to, don't they? I mean, uh, I any can't... any any spell would have let me cast yeah. it, and they don't even know that I haven't missed that I've missed so far. So if they do that, we just have to like win with Snapcast or Brain Freeze. I mean, we have, we have Time Twister too. Oh, we have actual Time Twister. I forgot. Yeah. No, the the library boomer uh, pendulum has swung back. Oh yeah. It's uh it's on Leyline of Ancestral Recall here. I actually would be losing this game kind of bad. I've just drawn all land so far. Hmm. I kind of just want to go land go now. Just have up Snapcaster Mana yeah. Lake. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously pulling farther ahead. And if they don't do anything, you could just cycle Rafine's Tower. Probably will. I'm going to counter this. I don't care what it is. Shieldred or something. Mind Twist for three. Yawgmoth. Right. Definitely countering that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to two for one them every turn of the game. <laughs> Mine and theirs. All right. Let's draw some action. Uh, that doesn't really count as action too much. Ooh, that does. Kind of, kind of. Wouldn't mind a big Teferi. Well, I don't want that. <laughs> wow. Okay, big Teferi is not in our deck. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, like, oh, like looking at this game, like it would be kind of nice. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's coming in. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meant to attack, but you know, <laughs> these things happen. They do happen. They could take me off library with a hymn now. If, if they have such a thing. Reanimating Grief will not quite do it. They could also Necromancy, Yawgmoth, oh, Graveyard Trespasser. Ooh, Citadel's out of here. Gone forever from no, this. No more Citadels. No, oh, no, they got their own Grief. It drains you. Okay. Maybe eight cards. Let's Thought Seize them, I guess. Yeah, our draws have been miserable. We have so many of them. Uh, I'm going to take the Chupacabra. I think? Yeah. Because they play a meat hook for two, and that's not a big deal. They just do it for one. Or one, yeah, sure. But Chupacabra can kill Sphinx if I if I tinker for it. Ah. That, that's, that's a good point. Hmm. Kind of not into that. Sure. I don't know. I could time twister with what five mana floating. Is that good? I mean, probably do it next turn. You can like yeah. play another land. You can cycle Rafine's tower. I'm gonna cycle Rafine's tower here. Sure. Maybe I'll draw something. Oh, I can just cast that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I just pass because I want to make them use the thing. They have one card, why time to stroll? Yeah, that's... That's, that, that's why we didn't do it. That's what we're discussing. <laughs> I agree. We ultimately decided not to uh, not to do it, but <coughs> it, is, it is still certainly worth uh, discussing. Part of it is that Graveyard Trespasser is going to eat up. I lost with the nuts breach deck this morning the one i sent you because of graveyard trespasser oh it ate a brain freeze or something uh it made it i it made it very i had like i had like a dt breach deck and it made it hard for me to have enough cards to be able to go like dt breach dt brain freeze and like play yeah. everything uh so if i just cast Three, six. I guess I just don't library this turn. Yeah. Well, you can library if you chrome mox to fairy. Yeah, that sounds worse than. I agree. I'm just casting Sphinx. And I'll still have library up next turn anyway. True. The Orzov Signet doing some work here. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, all right, they're probably going to kill my thing. Now I'm, I'm now I'm looking at Time Twister, maybe, depending on how it works out. Because Teferi Time Twister is a nice little combo. Yeah. As we saw last game. I mean, they won't necessarily be able to kill this, except if they don't have an Animate or an Infernal Grasp, I'd be kind of surprised. Yes. They all, but they did they did grief their grave or graveyard trespasser their grief like right away. They were excited. It's just a kind of weird play to make. Yeah, I don't mind that the Citadel has not been exiled yet. No. They could also maybe Phantasmal Image the Sphinx, but I wouldn't mind that so much. Oh yeah, we can do our Teferi Time Twister nonsense, maybe. Yeah, that's all I was saying. Oh I didn't I didn't hear it. I was reading chat. Hmm. Sorry. That's it is it. shocking that that is what they got. I mean, given the whole, you know, Sphinx of the things, Steel Wheel. Yeah. <laughs> they pre grieved, yeah. <laughs> Later, Andre. Yeah, if they take Time Twister, I am actually out of recursion because my Echo's gone too. But A, I can kill them with Sphinx. B, uh, at some point, a mini brain freeze might be good, you know? Yeah. You do have vents or brain freeze, so you might get to a place where you can do that. They took time twister. Yeah, I mean, they did take me off library. I guess that's a thing you could do. Well, you can put yourself back on library. Yeah, with uh, bouncing the the Siggy. Yeah, you gonna do it? Probably. Nice. Draws me a lot of cards. Do you want to get reservoir down? Uh, oh, no, no, uh, wait. This doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, not with uh, not if I'm librarian. That does play though. Oh, uh, do I want to just do a brain freeze this turn? Let's see. Do you not have a counter spell you can just go get? Uh, that's probably better. Okay. Yeah, that's you hate to admit it, but I don't know why you hate to admit it. I mean, it's not a really good counter spell. It's a miscalculation. They don't have that many lands. Yeah. They have four lands. Yeah, I guess that is probably good enough. Oh, Watery Grave. If their last card's a three-mana spell... Is that game? Are they going to Necromancy the Chupacabra? They had an answer to Sphinx all rolled up. They were clearing the path for it. Oh, Swift End. Okay. So you have to find Fencer and Brain Freeze. Uh, no, I just need to find Brain Freeze, I think. 24 cards. Well, I don't necessarily need to... Uh, kill them with it. I mean, it depends on how cycle fast. This calc? Yeah, I'm going to. I guess I should just cycle it now. Okay. Uh, I think that's... I think Spellseeker is better. Yeah. You can vent her Spellseeker to find Brain Freeze. Yeah. Are they going to grind us out? I don't think so, but they are putting up a pretty good fight. Yeah. As far as things go. Um, I guess I'm just going to play a land library here first. Mm -hmm. Etherflux Reservoir seems expensive enough that I could maybe just cast it. Yeah, I think so. Because this also might keep me alive. Also, I don't want that thing to flip, so yeah. Yeah. This is crazy that they are actually... They've managed to get all my win conditions except one into the graveyard. They have taken a pretty risky route of playing this game. But maybe they had the thing and the the murderous rider in hand. This isn't the worst. Yeah, that's fine. Brain Freeze, is it, is it at the bottom? Um, no, it's just somewhere in my deck. Oh, I thought we saw it with Preordain, am I wrong? We shuffled with... Uh, we spell oh, secret yeah, for yeah, Miscalc. Yeah, yeah. Getting Custodial Lich is not the worst thing. Because they're drawing two cards a turn. Now. Yeah. I mean, if I draw Brain Freeze, I'm not going to pass the turn and let it get discarded if they top deck, I don't think. Because with uh, Ether Flux out, if I cast five spells into Brain Freeze, that probably runs out the clock on the Custodial Lich. If I had to guess. All right, let's see, huh? Um, I have a Hallowed Fountain. Is it's probably worth thinning by one, right? I would say so. 
Can Tinker get anything? We got Mox Ruby. Let's see. If I draw Time Warp, I get another turn here. Okay, so I can Brain Freeze them for 15 cards down to 7. No, that's still probably not good enough, right? Yeah. Um, As it stands, 7, I'm 9, take 10, 10, 11. This is 4, 6, 10, 10, right? 6, 10, 12. Oh, um, you're dead, yeah. No, I just have to cast something. You're dead. It's over. Yeah, that's the cheapest one. Yeah, this this takes quite a bit of off the clock. <laughs> is it worth is it worth going for it here? Well, you could tinker for Bobble, which I think you should do because you have Venser in your deck. Because Venser just just does the thing by itself. Yeah. And then this also puts me pretty far out of, out, away from dying. Oh, I, you also have Time Warp. Yeah. yeah. Should I? I could bobble. I guess I would bobble to see, because, like... Yeah, I mean, if they have a discard spell. They might have picked one up, but okay. Swamp, yeah. All right, as long as the card they drew end of their turn wasn't a discard spell. Or a way to deal five damage. That should be good. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that should actually also get it done, because now I can... Uh, okay. Whew. No, Why? Because I, I can mystical for time warp, and then I know I'm drawing like that. Oh, uh, then you know you'll hit Benser. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you get to draw multiples a turn. Yeah. Funny game. Mm -hmm. This is a weird game. I'm. I guess one of the things that these storm decks can do is they don't have like a like a wealth of win conditions. So I use I exiled my first time twister to time twister turn one. You do not gain copies. It's just when you cast a spell. Um, do I want to upkeep mystical? Because if I just draw Vencer this turn, I could just do it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I could have also just drawn for turn and mystical. Library. I thought that's what, yeah. or I thought you were going to use library in your upkeep or something. I I didn't think you were going to do this as your first action, but whatever. Yeah. Do it. All right. Uh, draw. Okay. So now I can go one, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be way more than enough. And I have an eight mana, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have a lot of mana because you could theoretically crack LED with the Fencer trigger on the stack. Yeah. Do -do -do. Oh yeah, we're storming. If they have an Eldrazi here... <laughs> it would be funny. It would be funny. But there's nothing you could do about that. No. Not by a long shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, theoretically, if you needed the storm... You I could have cast one more, yeah. Yeah. Or could you? Oh, no, I guess I only have four mana. You only have four mana, yeah. Same targets. They can't have one. Oh, no, they could have a Shallow Grave Eldrazi deck, technically. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible. It's possible. Blood gas. Their deck looked a little small for that. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Oh, Dothy Voidwalker. All right. They have some decent stuff going on, I guess. Yeah, well, we'll definitely want to have our braid. Yeah. Jadar. Wow. That was a surprisingly close game given the circumstances. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, we like, we had, we, that was the game where we turn one echoed. Big Teferi. Oh yeah, Big Teferi. And I think Battle Balls. Well, they have the... So they have the Meat Hook Massacre for the Battle Ball. <laughs> yeah. But they also... But you might want that over Sphinx because Sphinx lines up so poorly against Custody Lich. And Chupacabra and Liliana. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta do it this way. Plus, maybe they take out the Meat Hook. Who knows? Oh, they probably should. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make sure you bring in your lips. I'll move seeds back. 
Hmm, I need to cut one more card. I like all the stuff I've got. Cut Miscout? No. I need to cut one card. Can I cut a land on the draw? Is that crazy? You cut out a 14? Well, uh, really, 16 if you count the moxes. <laughs> I... I mean, I don't think I want to cut Ether Flux, do I? Seems like it'd be pretty good. Maybe I cut Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is a good card, though. You could cut Time Warp. Yeah. I guess Time Warp is not that good against Discard, like when you don't have much else going on. Yeah. Oh, good. Love having Battle Ball and Reservoir in my opener, but I'm going to keep it. Anyway. Yeah, no, you should keep. Hey, Adam and Void. I'm glad you liked the, the video. Yeah, it was, it was a good one. <laughs> all of our sideboard cards. Yep, all, we right. could play PO in this deck. It wouldn't be the best PO deck, but it would be a, an okay PO deck. But It's pretty bad against discard. We're not exactly uh, long on or short on playables. Yeah. Like... The worst cards in our deck are things like Aetherflux Reservoir, which is kind of important for how some of the deck functions. Okay. Not a, not a worst card to draw here? Yeah, they did Mulligan. Yeah, which makes me a little less inclined to want it. Oh, that was close. I was worried that was going to be the Dothy Void. Well, I guess actually it would be better for us if it was Dothy Void. Yeah, Walker. just to braid it. Yeah. Echo Viance is a bad draw. It is the Storm Boys. Oh, yeah. A bad Phyrexian Obliterator deck. They wish they had Phyrexian Obliterator in their deck, but it's not in the cube. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We can hit some land drops. Yeah. I oh. mean, Aetherflux Reservoir can counter Bloodgast kind of nicely if I'd get to that point. True. If they attack with Mutavolt, I'm braiding that thing. Yeah, I would. Okay, they must have a land heavy hand. Can you use destroy target artifact? <laughs> yeah, ancient grudge it. <laughs> <laughs> it has all the types. Sure. They're gonna open, play a Jadar that they open the Oh, they got me with the Baleful Strix. Strix. I'm playing Reservoir here. Yeah. They probably can't get this off the board. And this is going to make it a lot harder yeah, for them to kill me. Yeah, I don't think we saw anything. They're not the Brazen Borrower. Also, Mana Leak face up is just not that good. Especially against... Oh, they're going to Cabal Therapy my Mana Leak. And then Bloodgast Cabal Therapy my Time Twister. Watch. I mean, that. this is one of the better spots I've ever seen for Cabal Therapy. I mean, they kind of have to do that, right? Like, any spell they get, I could just Mana Leak if they don't cast it this turn. Right. So, both games, Cabal Therapy was decent. Like, it, it was good. Yeah, I mean, Cabal Therapy's... Oh, they, they're not doing that. They're doing something else. Okay, whatever. Cabal Therapy gets a lot better when you know what your opponent's hand is. Yeah. I'm just going to Time Twister here. Yeah. If I don't draw anything. I would like to know what you could draw that where you would not cast Time Twister. Little Teferi or something? Oh, I will play Signet first, though. I know it reduces my mana, but plus one Storm Count, plus one mana overall. This is where Reservoir actually really shines here. Just... Gaining me random large amounts of life as we do all this stuff. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, if you draw, like, a, a zero... Wow, you didn't draw a land? I guess I'm going to play the Mox. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to Mystical, but... We'll well, see. Maybe that was bad. It gains three. You're not that far from killing with Snapcaster. It's true. 
So but, if you drew another zero next turn, you go zero zero, Snapcaster Brain Freeze. That's twelve, and then the next one is fifteen. Yeah, that would have been enough. Okay, well, doesn't rather moot point with Dothy Voidwalker in the picture. Yeah, I also didn't really want my mocks to get dressed, but I guess at this point. Hmm, I could Mystical Tutor for a braid if I want to get rid of the Voidwalker. Well, you could Mystical Tutor for Tinker. Could also do that. Which I imagine you're going to yeah. do. With a Bolus of Citadel in play, that sounds like a pretty good plan. Or, a, sorry, Aetherflux Reservoir. Yeah. Right Oh, nice. Very nice. I'm going to get that Void Walker out of here. Yeah, Citadel Aetherflux is the combo. Mm -hmm. Very nice at Spellseekers in May. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't miscalc the spell seeker. I haven't even played a land yet. Oh yeah, this is be pretty tough for them. Oh I'm gonna get preordained, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh and, and it's a fetch land. That is nice. <laughs> Hello. Let's, can you venture itself a bunch? Uh, well, you can only play it if it's on the top of your deck. Yeah, that's. If it was a creature with ETB like Time Ebb, yeah, then you that could. that would play. They are dead. They're like super dead here. Let's get a reservoir kill for the kids. Okay. What? You didn't say no. Nah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Mm -hmm. It's free real estate. <laughs> it's gonna be really awkward if you lose this game. <laughs> how, how would that happen? They have an Eldrazi in their deck, and you just don't have enough. I can them. I already have enough. Oh, you already have enough? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I was hoping you were one shot. No, I'm just kidding. I, I will always root for you. Yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to three. It's All right. Boom. 2-0. We keep siding in the same cards, but I think the way our deck is built for game one makes sense. Well, we played against two kind of fair decks. Like <coughs> art artifact I, deck and a mono black deck. Yeah, those are two decks where a braid is good. And to fairy here of dominaire is good. Yeah, against like mono red, I don't even think I'd side in red for a braid. That I wouldn't be that excited to, unless I knew they had Eidolon or something. And I certainly wouldn't be siding into fairy. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, <clears throat> I did veto the tinker. No, yeah, I got to hand it to you. The tinker made the deck. It was a lot As better it turned than out. Yeah. What was it? It was Badlands? Yeah. Had we not found... Had we found Breach, that would have been a different story, but we didn't find the Breach, so having a powerful thing to do without Breach is pretty nice. On the play with two zeros? Oh. Kind of in a little pickle with this Mistress Bauble, you know what I'm saying? I would play the Bauble. I would not play the LED. Well, I'm going to play the Bauble, but the question is, if oh, I crack I it, I could find a box or a Signet. I would probably crack it. Yeah. You can also find a counter spell. Yeah, there's too much too much upside. Chrome Mox, ugh. I don't like seeing that. Can I just draw my Mox? No. no. Alright, we're, we're probably going to run the Snapcaster out here. Get Ambush out. Viper. I mean, we'll see what they do, but... It... it we're, we're probably gonna want a time twister next turn. Oh, never mind. That's let's 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 slow the proverbial horses. Yeah, let's slow things down. Oh, uh, 
Yeah. If they want to counter this, they can counter it. Oh. Kind of like the free time twister. Yeah. I think I'm going to give it another turn. Oh, they have a chrome mox in hand, though. Hmm. Well, the problem is, is uh, you you can't actually oh, do yeah. the echo window. No, I can't. Up. I, I can't do that. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm just going to snapcast or preordain next turn. I mean, we'll see if they if they tap out for something. That's uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I've got a, I'm gonna time twister one way or another, I guess. They probably take the echo, right? Yeah, you should definitely take echo in this spot because then you can't discard it. It'd be su such gas if they took the they took the brain freeze, so I could just kind of reserve it. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. <sighs> da, da, da. Elite Spellbinder. Their island is annoying me. See, their island really made it so I didn't want to just fire things off. But then they played a creature on these two turns, so... Classic blue-white Chions. Yeah, it's pretty inconsiderate, honestly. Though I am... I basically never put Containment Priest in my starting deck. It's, I think, dead a little too often. They took Lion's Eye Diamond. Okay. It's a play you are legally allowed to make. They chrome moxed and oust. They have three guards. What do you end of turn snapcaster untap time twister? Yeah, I guess so. I mean mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Aren't you fancy? Don't mind that. Also plays around mana tithe. Okay, I guess we just pass. Yeah, you can do some fanciness next turn. Yeah. Hey, Seth Bling, what's up, man? Been a bit, hope things are good. We're well, storming off here. I don't think we're gonna get through three drafts. <laughs> no. Wandering Emperor. Oh, they're playing that game. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm just going to kick things off with the Thoughtseize. Yeah. Uh, guess I play my island first. Not a big reason not to, I don't think. What's going on in that hand? Yeah, what do we got? Mystic Confluence... Fencer, Gideon Allen, Zinnikar, Soul Herder. I'm, I mean, I assume I take Mystic Confluence. Yeah, it seems like that. Um, uh, they're actually kind of clocking me here. Oh, yeah. Guess I'm not gonna play the reservoir this turn because that doesn't really make sense. So what I think I'm gonna do is library, then play a signet. And play LED. Yeah, I get to play LED for free too. Seriously insane hand? No, I wouldn't go that far. It's a hand of the blue white cards we kind of expected to see. You are the soul harder vents or combo here. It's not Gonna be pleasant. It's not, but I don't know. I, I could I could have taken Mystic Venture over Mystic Confluence, maybe. They didn't bounce a land. Yeah, maybe we needed to. This is gonna be gross. But Soul Herder Spellbinder is also pretty gross. Yeah. The one advantage of Soul Herder Elite Spellbinder is it unlocks the ability for you to play cards with LED. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll see what they do. Hopefully they're, they're a coward and they spellbinder. Oh, damn. Uh, so I can't... 
can't mystical for time warp now. Yeah. Yeah, how could we possibly win this game? I mean, we could draw time warp. Oh, Chromox actually lets us do that too. Oh, but I'd have to exile brain freeze. Can you gain enough life? They can hit you for five, like seven, nine, twelve. I mean, I can play uh, Reservoir, gain two, gain three, gain four. It requires playing an empty Chrome Mox, but maybe that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we had to take Vencer, actually, I think. Well, I don't know. It would have been bad either way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think taking Vencer would have been better. I guess... No, this deck is great. This is a good deck. Not like one of the best decks I've ever had, but I would not. I would not. I would not. Cla I would classify this more as a good. Like it is a, both a fun and good deck, but I don't think this is just like a goofy deck. It's a, it's a good one. Um, so if I go, res yeah, I guess I mean I have to go reservoir and I have to leave mystical up. I think. Yeah. What are we mysticaling for? Uh. Time warp? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, they're drawing planes. Oh, I could get Echo of Neons. Yeah, that probably that's, is better. I think that's going to be better, actually. And I still don't think I, I imprint here. No, I don't think I do. I, I think that the odds that I... It's going to be a lot easier to string together a Brain Freeze win than a, than a rather Reservoir win, I think. If they if they flicker Elite Spellbinder, because this is my hand now, I, I'm going to have to crack LED, which isn't the end of the world. I would be surprised if Reservoir doesn't get bounced. We'll see. Oh, me too. But, but yeah. They know if they know where time twistering, they might also not attack with colonnade because they they have a two turn win. Yeah. Oh, like, oh no, no, wait, they can. They can leave up a lion sash, so right. I can't do that. But I'll, I'll just have to cast Echo with all my mana. Yeah, I'm just kind of screwed everywhere. <laughs> it's a tough game. It's rough out there. They even had the lion sash for the last little, little yep. twist of the knife. Okay, they just bensered. Good. I think that was like, that was actually the the weaker play. I'm not worried about them just doing. The the issue we were talking about was if they flickered elite spellbinder, I couldn't discard on their turn. Other otherwise they would lion sash me. Okay. Um. Do I play Aetherflux Reservoir first? If you play Aetherflux Reservoir first and you find Tinker for Citadel. It's kind of hard to I'd have to I'd have to find my Mox Ruby too. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. It might be the only way you can win. Yeah. Well, you could maybe find LED if you leave up library. Then you could go like mystical, uh, uh, LED. Sure. I, do do I play? Do I fetch going down to one? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Oh, they get to lion sash. I mean, yeah, they have to. They have to kind of foul it here. You do have a lot of attractive cards to hit, but yeah, they, they do have to foul it. Yeah, the, I guess the Lion Sash combined with all the other stuff made it, so we just really couldn't win this game. Well, that's not true. We have the Aetherflux in play. Yeah, no. There's a ridiculous combination of cards that allows us to Aetherflux them out here. They they kind of have to hit the wrong things, but yeah. I mean, my two win conditions are right on the top there. <laughs> uh, what if they leave their mana up for counterspells? 
Did you consider that? What? <laughs> what counter? They don't have a counter spell. No, like after the echo. Hit LED. Okay. Which, very close. I mean, sort of close. <laughs> you don't really have any place. Oh yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna draw my card, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to side in a braid and Teferi. <laughs> yep. Um, Sphinx is bad. Yeah. Is Battle Ball good? Uh, not really. I'm just going to try to tinker into Yeah, that. I think it's fine. You could just say oh, you're going to tinker for either Citadel or Reservoir every time. Yeah. Um, and then do I cut... Duress probably is fine, right? Yes. Yeah, Mystic Confluence Definitely and stuff. Definitely it's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take out Time Warp again, I think. Sure. Expensive card against counter spells and vencers and stuff. In an average reanimator deck, which is the best target? I think that Archon of Cruelty is the overall best. So Atrox is good too. It's a, yeah. The one thing that's pulled back on Archon is the fact that Gorius is in the cube. True. So but, I think Atraxa might be the best, but it's very close. Yeah, it's definitely possible that Thought Seizing Soul Herder would have been the pick. Oh man, did they? Thought they have, Soul Herder, then they go Venser and have Confluence up. Do they have yeah. Confluence up? I don't know. Yeah, I would like to resolve a spell at some point in the game. You know. I just realized if we didn't trade for a Containment Priest, their Soul Herder wouldn't do anything. Like we didn't know that any of that at the time, but wait, what? Containment priest stops soul herder. Oh wow, they really should not have containment <laughs> priest in their deck. I'm gonna play the reservoir first here. Yeah. I think. Hmm. Okay, land would be pretty nice. I would just play to fairy. I can just Teferi plus one it and play Snapcaster. Um, I guess I don't really need to play LED here. I could play, no, no, no this is fine. I'm just gonna wait on the Snapcaster just so they don't know that it, it can block the Lion Sash. They don't even know. Uh, random question, what did I get the mods for dinner last week? Molly got, Mexican food. He got a uh, quesadilla with spicy sour cream. I don't know what that. Never seen that before. Some chips and guac. Uh, Ark got. What did Ark get? Oh, Ark got Cuban food, and uh, Squirrel got Japanese food. That was what I fed the mods. Get over here, Lion I also, Sash. if you didn't go to, if you haven't been on Luis's Twitter in the last day, he made some really good food last night. Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. All right, what do they got? Chrome Mox? Into Giver of Runes? Into Pumps? <laughs> Uh, Whoa, why? What? Are you playing house? Yeah. I wanted to see what I was going to draw first, and it actually worked out great. Cause, <laughs> cause now that was play a bad land. play. <laughs> I'm going to play this in case they have days. Sure. It was a really good play, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was a great play. <laughs> <laughs> Just worked out super well, honestly. <laughs> if, we're, if we're being, if we're being honest. Okay, okay. Well, oh, I'm going to play that land. Literal counterspell, huh? The old student of warfare counterspell combination. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, sure. That doesn't really matter. 
Okay. So now the Teferi goes down and we get to and we get to LED here into Twister. Alright. Ended up twistering as my last card, which is also a way that you can you can do it. <laughs> oh. It's probably worth venturing something, right? What about Celestial Colonnade? Kind of like that. Sure. Because with an Aether Flux in play, it feels like I don't need to worry about my life total all that much. Mm -hmm. How far above the rim are we playing right now? Uh... I would say the rim's in sight, but... <laughs> uh, any any tinker thoughts? Yeah, I mean, you should go get the house. Alright, what, what am I pitching? Probably uh, Foxy's. Foxy's, I think. Yeah. The school tutor's kind of... Is there a reason not to bounce the mocks? Uh, yeah, so the problem is... If I bounce the mocks and they have mocks in their deck, it's going to be so much better. They just drew a fresh hand of seven. Bouncing yeah. the mocks would be really bad. Yeah. Um, I guess this is actually my worst thing. Okay, there's the Citadel. Ooh. Bailey Boy. All right. It is funny. That it's always Baleful Strix. Well, hopefully their way of dealing with Citadel is bouncing it, because I yeah. can just recast it. Also, I'm at millions of life. You should have an upkeep stop set. Oh, yeah. I alternate between having stop set or not, you know? I've noticed. It's just a few That's how I do it, too, but then as soon as I get something in play, like a Citadel, I'll just... Or have a Mystical Tutor in hand, I'll set it. Instead of hoping I remember on their own step. I'm not even gonna... Wait, I, I don't even need this. Because if I have a Citadel in play, I'm, not, I'm just going to draw it. It's true. And if they kill the Citadel, I'll just set the stop again. I do have auto yields on, but, you know, I have enough time probably. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, does it again. Well, I'm definitely blocking there. Put the giver of runes. Sure. Mm. I have an abrade. Ready. Oh, they're gonna make a citadel? Okay. That's fun. I guess we'll see. Oh no. You're gonna bounce my citadel? Okay, that's I feel like less effective. Okay. They're so dead. Freeze here. Oh. Polluted Delta? Oh. Um. Look at that. Holding control. Yeah, it was very well. Very really, nice really just done. good play. Uh huh. Should brain freeze him? Or. Yeah, I guess the rest first. I mean, they're they're super dead here. Yeah, they scooped to that. Okay. All right. One to go for the trophy. All right. Four Can I just get a turn one time twister? Land, Mox, Mox, LED, Echo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or turn one tinker? Yeah, you could turn one tinker. It would be cool to get a turn one kill. Yeah, this, this, <coughs> this deck could get a turn one kill. I feel like we deserve it, too. Oh, yeah, that's a good Did point. Did you consider that? Just, I, I don't know if you considered that, that we possibly deserve it. Sometimes I don't see all the angles. It's tough, because it's good to see all the angles. There's a lot of angles. You don't see all of them. <laughs> Very cowardly time warp in the sideboard. What? Why is it cowardly of time warp from the sideboard?
Didn't know we were cowards. To Fairy Hero of Dominaria, I did some good work that game. Yeah. It's not going to be the best if, if they have like Student of Warfares in their deck. No. No. How does a turn one kill work with this deck? You go turn one, Island, Mox, Ruby, Chrome, Mox, Tinker into Bolas the Citadel, and then from there, you could either get a kill if you can successfully string enough cards to either make Brain Freeze or Aether Flux Reservoir lethal. I was hoping they wouldn't have a creature. Oh, suspend cloud skate. Okay. We'll, be. we'll see how that goes. Could not get a gosh darn zero. Yeah. I think I discard. Can I discard Rafine's Tower? Or is that bad? It's weird to discard Rafine's Tower, but I guess. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Or Island. Yeah. yeah, I think it's Island. Yeah, just discard Island. Hey, hey, what's up, Dylan? Just getting rid of extra black sources could matter. Terminal Library is not just GG against an opponent who, who has, like, assertive cards in their deck, unfortunately. I will probably miscalc anything they play here. The Slow Blade does penetrate the shield. That's a good point. Gotta hand it to him. Well, Rift Room's a little annoying, but we do have a good answer to their first two other plays. Yeah, it's Dylan. Uh, I use Dylan's. Uh, oh no! Oh, whoa! Look at uh, this jam Joker. What is this? Wasteland and don't wasteland the library. Yeah. But I use Dylan's decks in the uh, in the cube article I did because he had a Twitter thread of trophy decks and that was useful. Oh, nice. Well, the problem was when I looked through our history, it was just all. Breach, Time Spiral, Helm of Awakening, <laughs> Dream Halls decks. So Dylan actually drafted some sane decks. So oh. that was useful. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see if they go for it. Are they a hero? Are they going to Wasteland the Spire Bluff Canal? That would be a hero play. Kind of a crazy play. Oh, oh my goodness. Every turn just not killing library. And every turn me having a nice counter spell. <laughs> That's not horrible. Yeah, I was gonna say Spellseeker for Mystical Tutor. <laughs> you should Spellseeker, right? I'm thinking about what would I get? A Thoughtseize, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Or Preordain. Oh, uh, Preordain's probably better. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, obviously, if you wanna win, you should, like, draft a White Plum Adventure and draft white a lot because you might open white plume adventure in a subsequent pack <laughs> okay now are they bouncing spire bluff canal yeah the this cube season also forced me against my will to finally learn what the initiative does and it was strong it was stronger than i thought it was like or than i would have guessed like yeah. just based off of like hearing people talk about it in legacy and pauper and vintage if you asked me like how good it was i would have underrated it compared to how good i think it is now they Weather is still not good in Denver. It's storming all the time here. Yeah, just all storms all the time. Look, they didn't kill a library. They bounced an island and wasteland of the Spire Bluff Canal. Crazy. I mean, you did go get Preordain, I guess. Well, I'm also, if they don't play anything, I'm just going to have a braid. And then, uh, oh my god, if they play Soul Herder here, it's going to be quite annoying. Spellbinder is elite, but it is not hurting souls. Yeah, that's less bad. I mean, it's still good. Their, their, draw, oh, it's their, still good, their yeah. draw was very good. Yes. Riftwing into Blade Splicer into Glen into Wasteland Spellbinder. I mean, that that's a... If oh, it, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think about that. If I do well at the regional championship, it qualifies me for the Pro Tour where I can get to play with the ring mechanic. Lucky. Yeah, that that is some serious incentive right. I just right need there. to draw a Mox. Any, any mocks would be amazing. Yeah, they just went for the full-on aggro play. I guess I go Island Library just right now. Yeah, sure. Bottom 
don't like having to lose all this life, but what can you do? Yeah. I mean, next turn we can get Citadel into play. Yeah. It would be nice if we had a land drop. If we could draw zero so we could have a land drop. I mean, we've seen... There's 22 cards left on our deck. We have four zeros to draw into. Okay, well, this is not... I mean, this could be bad, but... It is not leaving up counter spell. Yeah, that that is... Oh, oh. well... Oh. Yeah, they were going to do that. Pro <sighs> box. Got to gotta hand it to them. They played to their outs here. Yeah. And at 13. And they played the Colonnade. Damn, they just had the perfect draw. Damn. I think we were a zero away from winning. Or at least being in a position. A very good spot, yeah. 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 7 11 right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. We don't even have that many options. Like, what, like our turn. Just have to play Signet, right? Yeah. So the question is do we want a library or play Sacred Foundry? I feel like. <laughs> well, the problem with playing Sacred Foundry is. We kind of need It's to so win. hard to tinker in this spot. God, it would be kind of gassy if we could tinker for. Sphinx. <laughs> and just be yeah, a prey. <laughs> I mean, if you went to two next turn, Sphinx wouldn't even save you. Yeah, I don't know how we can get out of this. No, that, that, this is what the blue-white deck's trying to do. They had, like, a picture-perfect rolled-up draw. Yeah. I mean... I still think a zero would have had us in the game, but their draw was good enough that it wouldn't have... Served. It wouldn't have been like we would win. But... The way this kind of thing works is if we had a zero and were able to like abrade that, we would have taken like so much less damage overall. Well, good. They didn't have a land, which means they have a, some sort of interactive I spell. know. <laughs> All right. I mean, you can still draw zero. I need to draw a lot of zeros. Or I could have drawn that earlier. Okay. So... <laughs> I'd love to see that. Uh, that's got to do it for our outs. Yeah, I would imagine I so. Technically, if they don't have a land, they don't have lethal. That's some technical stuff. We're not that close to Snapcaster killing with Brain Freeze, but I guess... It's more likely we can win if we... <sighs> you do have outs. If you don't die... And you can draw two zeros... Then you can go Brain Freeze, Snapcaster, Brain Freeze. And I think that's enough. But all they have to do is remove Baleful Strix or draw a land. Or, yeah. yeah. Oh, we uh, gotta see if we're gonna get there, though. Okay, sure. All right, well, sometimes you get whammied, and uh, that was still a pretty sweet draft. The, uh, this, we we even lost power due to a literal storm in the middle. So <laughs> yeah, there, there is that. That stuff happens. But uh, there you go. Still at twenty trophies. What's how's the trophy race at? Oh, they're, they're, you're falling behind. It's not looking good for for your boy. But yeah. I I think I think I might need to throw in the towel. I do need to like play pioneer at some yeah. point. So. There we have it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with uh, the, the Storm Boys here. We, we did our best, uh, and we almost got there. It was, it was some good matches. That mono black uh, deck really took us to the every last card we had. That was pretty sweet, too. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, and we will see you next time.